everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So we are going to check the barracks really quick here first off um, because we got to do it, pull this mission off um, pretty quickly today. We got to jump over after this and we're going to do a mix and match assassinate mission with whatever is left, oil, left over from the Royals that's capable of doing the mission. And then um, we'll do that and then we will pull off an like, assassinate mission right after this. So let's have a look at the pilots here. Uh, not us. you. Like so Dragon's good to go. Standing Smirk by. is fine. Commander? Thunder is fine. Tugboat no. is fine. Wrangler no. is fine. And Ren, Commander. who's the new pilot we just picked up, is good to go. So let's go to the command center really quickly here. Let's get this new lance up and running. So we're going to take this one here for Wolf. It is against the... Um, uh, local government so we should be okay with this one this is the one we're going to take after this with the with the uh, duelist so we're going to go full salvage here we have enough to make our financial report because of the duelist which is great um, i'm kind of glad now that i'm sharing my um i'm sharing my stuff because really the the duelist is actually making some good coin for us and keeping us in business so all right let's load the royals so this one and then what we want to do is grab um, Ren and grab our hunter so now we've got a full lance here and we're going to save this as the royals again excellent all right let's go command interface initiated all right here we go nice open area to fight in well, flat anyway. And I forgot my beach chair. All right, so they're just down there, and most likely they probably have reinforcements. I'm gonna come through here. This is sort of the classical way that from BattleTech to to play this map is to start on this side. So we're gonna do that. We got some good cover here. They're probably spread out across here, and the reinforcements are back there, if they have them. Oop. Saw them there for a second. Don't underestimate the local government. You never know what you're going to get. That sounded like a vehicle, but I'm, there's six of them right there. Okay, dart. This looks like another, um, vindicator. Ooh, excuse me. Vindicator or, um, Clint? What is this? Clint. Quick sell one. Blackjack. Dart decided to come up and commit suicide. We're, we're cool with that, though. Here. We're cool with the commit the committing of suicide. Do this. No point in putting the mech with no armor out in front of everybody else. Oh, we got a guy back here though. Valkyrie, okay. Let's get this guy out of here if we can. All right, few hits. We'll roll over this guy and then see what they got at the back because it looks like there are a couple more. Maybe it's five. Oh, shit. Okay, no, all right. Nice try. Yeah, it could have been real bad. Okay, so I did make a small change to the mislinks here, as you can see. I was going to go with the paramedium heavies and um, uh, a bunch of uh, ER smalls, but I decided to go with a, with uh, five ER smalls, ER medium, and a medium heavy plus the tag. So um, I'm hoping this really uh, works out here. It's a really hot build. Um, we're overheat, like like you can see, we're really like way over already. But I'm hoping not to run all the weapons all the time. Um, let's get on this Valkyrie. Since he's moved already. I want that Blackjack to have a look at somebody other than my lighter guys, so that's why I'm putting you here. LBX, PPC, Limpet Mines times 3, Grenade Pack. Got it. Okay, a little bit of damage, not bad. We're going to get the, uh, Grendel, uh, the, uh, Grendel, the, uh, Sentinel on you as well. Oof, that's not good. Not good at all. Wow, that was bad. 
Yeah, no shit. We're gonna back you up. Oof. You can't take many more hits like that. Receiving you. Okay, I put the Thunderbolt 2 pack on this guy as well, just so you, as you can see. Uh, let's go after this dart. Roger. I was going to put the Sentinel on this guy, but we w I want to get the dart out of here so I can just keep these guys to my one side here. Nice. Solid connection on that one. Good to go. All right, Ren. No, it's got to be a side strike. Let's get to here. Acknowledged. We're going to fire everything. Um, get these wound up a little bit. And here it comes. Nice. There Next it goes. Destroyed. Good to go. This guy's been brutalized. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, so wait, that's the right side. I gotta turn my left side to them and the back. So like that kind of. Doesn't matter if they if they hit with artillery or piece or whatever, I'm friggin' doomed anyway. Not much I can do about that. Let's shoot on the guy. Ooh, maybe not. What's the best chance? 10%? Well, yeah, let's go with the best chance to hit, because we may not be firing next turn. Garbage. Alright. Peel and stick armor repaired. <laughs> Sure. That may just be these guys. Coming after the vehicles again. Alright. My colors are off. I don't know what the hell happened to my colors. I'm supposed to be yellow and like... I don't know. Whatever. That's loud, but... Hey. All right, let's get this guy down. Cause fuck oh him. Oh boy, here we go. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Shot my own guy. It's been a while since I've done that. At least I didn't core him. All right. You got nothing, you hear me? Commander. All right, I don't know how much speed we got here, but... Got enough to get beside this guy. Probably better that we stay inside his uh, big gun range, although I think he's got an LBX. Two ballistics, I don't know what those would be. Take this off. Hammer with the rest of them here. Waiting for orders. On my way. All right. Good thing this thing's turreted. Wow. Okay. Commencing alpha strike. Ooh, we hit with one. Nice. Better than nothing. Waiting for orders. Okay, Ren. Coordinates received. Get this hunter moving. Get on him. Engaging target. Nothing. What's up, boss? We're getting pretty uh, consistent, you. like a little over fifty percent with this thing. It's nice they had those that good chance to hit with this thing. I mean it's not amazing chance to hit, but it's still pretty good for us. Standing by. Okay, let's get over here. Roger. And we'll hammer the same guy. Fire it all. Uh, maybe not. We're a little hot. A small pulse can stay off, probably. You are small. Uh, yeah, he's open already, so... Alright, there goes his arm. Reporting. Critical hit. What now? Okay. 
Okay. Let's continue the pressure up. This guy should be pretty, not warm, but warmer at this point. He's been firing his medium lasers a lot, so... Uh, that's really good chances to hit. Yeah, he's pretty hot. Yeah, I put him way over. Yes, Commander. Um... How far can you get? That's pretty good. We'll take that. On my way. Double time. Keep the pressure up. End this quickly if we can. Um, it's just so warm. Once we're off this planet, it'll be so much easier. Okay, when does he go? On 12. Do we have nobody else before him? Oh, we got 13 down here, but we can't get a back shot, so... Uh, let's see what this quick sell idiot goes. Oh, he's got he's super warm. Let's see what he does. Oh, it's this guy. Nice shot. Back up through my armor, Commander. Yeah, just hang in there. We're almost done. Cross rifle quick sell. One shot thumper. So that was what he fired earlier. Commander? Let's get here. So it's all indirect. I don't want you to see me at all. Ah, man, really? 16% in the blackjack. I guess it's blackjack. Nice. His turn. Oof. Got something you want done? Someone is not having a good day. So you lost your side already. Um, let's get to here. Aye, aye. We're kind of we're kind of in the way there, but this guy, this guy's in for a world of pain. Yeah, it goes his arm. Ready for orders. Yeah, our guy's in the way back there. It's fine. That 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 guy put him. This guy put himself in a good spot, so I can't shoot him. That's fine. Well played, buddy. Well played. No See ya. Tango down. What's up, boss? I could do this though. Actually, can I get behind him? I can. Going full throttle. Cause fuck you, buddy. We got wheels, baby. Yeah, bad chance to hit, but we're taking Fire. it anyway. Okay, a couple hits. Goss crit. Solid connection on that one. I'm here. This guy's all yours. Okay, let's go. Kind of grouped up, so if that guy fires his PPC over here, we're in trouble, but... You say so. That's not very good. Mediocre at best. Critical hit, Commander. Come on. There you go. Alright, not too bad. Ready for orders. On Let's my get way. out here. This guy's not going to hit much. At least I don't think he is. Um, hang on to that. We get a better shot. All right, we hit. Commander. On the move. Get out of the fire going to be bad for us here. Um, let's get ahead of that guy. Now, uh, we got to drop some heat. ER medium can come off. <sighs> Fire the rest. Engaging. Man, really? Oh, okay. That works. Standing by. That works. All right. Point the big end towards the enemy and pull the trigger. 
Leave that off for now. Fire the rest. Engaging with Hawk. Waiting for orders. Yeah, Fire man. Three points. Standing by. Better than nothing. Got Let's it. just keep on them. Keep the pressure up, people. Keep the pressure up. Roger that. Let's hit him hard. Peel and stick, eh? On the move. Full speed. Twenty-two heat from fire, huh? Um. Let's go this route. Ah, oh, nice. They both hit. Hey. Yep, let's just get on them. Let's try and bring this to a close. Okay, his heat's jacked. He's still gonna shoot, but I mean, I mean he's got no choice. But at least he's jacked up in heat. It's not going very far. Oh, he's trying to run. Receiving you. Well, you know what happens to runners. Aye, aye. Get shot right in the back. Take that, Commander. Let's finish this guy off. Good range, good chance to hit. Thunderbolts up, here it comes. Full compliment on the enemy. There we go. Beautiful. Enemy down. That's what I'm talking about. Mission successful. Alright, so 294,000. Beautiful. I think we're probably going to be spending about 30 or so of that in repairs, maybe. XP is okay. One and a half skull. Uh, you want to. What are you going to give me, though? Light engines. Hmm. Battle fists. Okay. Uh, plus three rep. Yeah, man, you can have those because we're gonna have we're gonna have we got enough to make an adder now, off that last um. Off that last uh, duelist mission, so we're gonna go ahead and accept this. You can have those mech parts all you want. So LBX PPC. 50% crit hit chance. 50 heat though. It just splits it up into different pieces. Evasion ignored. Six projectiles with 15% higher damage potential. Which doesn't make sense because a PPC does 50 damage. So 15% higher damage potential would be six shots at 13 damage each, wouldn't it? Or sorry, at 11 and a half damage each. Or am I missing something? Bonus against VTOLs, which is kind of nice. It's actually kind of a very interesting weapon. Seven tons, so it's a regular PPC weight. Doesn't quite have the same range, though. It doesn't have a piece of PPC like 720. Hmm. Goss Quick Cell. Two ammo per shot. What does it do? Double shoot? It uses AC2 ammo. Oh, I see. It's just highly accelerated AC2 ammo is basically all it is. Right. Okay. One shot thumper. That's an option. Battle fist, man. Modifier to punch. Okay. Case 2 quick cell. Compact actuators we have. 220 core. All the light engines are here. Um, they're worth about a million each. Okay, so we've got some good um, fire control systems. The breaching one is nice. Multi-track is nice. But I gotta say though, since I've been since I've been playing, I haven't missed the ability to multi-track enemies. There's those rare times where it's like you don't want to put all the damage on somebody because 
They've only got a few hit points left. But I haven't missed it all that much. Stealth X. Um, hmm. Requires one ton carrying capacity. Sensor stealth when activated, making unit harder to hit and detect. 80% stealth signature reduction. We could put that on the um, mislinks, maybe. Because I believe it goes in the armor slot, and the mislinks doesn't have any pharaoh or anything on it right now. And if we're going to do that, we might as well have, like... May, might as well make it super stealthy. I'm going to grab that. That's actually not bad. AC2 precision ammo. Uh, we're not really running AC2s, so that's not really that great. Light engines are actually super cheap to add to mechs compared to the XLs. Do we have a 220 core? We don't. Battle Fist. I should probably grab at least one, eh? 10% of one tenth of the chassis weight, which isn't very much. Melee hand actuator. I'm going to grab that. How much does the AC2 weigh? Six tons, right? Yeah, it's way too heavy. Um, oh, one shot thumper. I mean, uh, I'm thinking about the light engines and I'm like, we're getting Clan XLs relatively frequently now, so why would I want to I'm just better off with the Clan XL. It's not like we can't find them out here, right? So, this is three tons. Minus one accuracy. But it'd be nice to soften up the enemy with if we can land a good shot. I'm going to drop it there for a second. Bulky endo steel. 220 core. Light engine. The thing, bonus about the light engine is it's, it's relatively cheap to put in. I think it's like one third of the cost of the, of the uh, Clan XL. So we can get it in a mech and actually get 25% weight change on the engine right away. This is not bad, but I would rather fire all of my weapons against somebody. This is great if you've got like a one really big weapon that you want to like hammer somebody hard with. Like that Goss rifle, right? You know, but we don't really have that. Light jump jets. Um, sensors with searchlight. Fog of war re stays revealed around this unit. Two bonus of sensor detection with 150 meters. Orange circle, meh. Upper recoil. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I mean, it's it's a little weightier than a regular upper recoil. Uses up three slots as well, but... Um, no, it's about the same weight. Uses up three slots, though. But yeah, let's grab that recoil reduction. We don't see these very often, so we'll take it when we can get it. Alright, what do we get? We got the, we got the AC2, the dart part... A Goss Rifle Quick Cell, which I'll hold on to. Medium lasers will hold on to. Battle Fist, great. Um, Compact Actuators. Since we have one of these, I thought we had, I thought we got three off the last mission. Is that times three or is that just one of these? But the X3 means something. Maybe it's just the name is X3. It looks like times three, but I guess not. We've got two of those. Standard fire control system can go. We've got the multi-track. Heat sinks can go. Got like nothing for them. Jump jets can go. It's cheap as shit. Peel and stick armor. <laughs> Adds eight armor to their location. Sure. Hang on to that for now. We can drop that. Upper recoil we chose. we got the precision ammo, which is nice. AC2 quick cell ammo. Uh, I would rather have the precision, but I guess this goes with the Goss. Does it? Does the Goss just use st standard AC2 ammo, or is it... Can we use precision with that? I mean, it's 15 tons, and I don't want to test it out on any of my mechs at the moment. But at some point, we will. So let's just hang on to the AC2 ammo. It's not, it's not going to cost us much. We'll just hang on to it. 
All right, not too bad. All right, four grand. That's, that's nothing, which is weird, but they did most of the damage to the vehicles. They weren't really shooting our mechs. And I think the only damage they did to our mechs was when I shot our mech. <laughs> I think the entire time they were shooting at the vehicles. So it's very... I think the, I think that whoever is coming up doing the AI has got to stop that. Because, I mean, I think what they should do is weigh the out-damage output of some stuff and just really go after the guys that can do damage. Because those vehicles were really not that much of a threat. I guess they're technically easy kills and you can argue for guns off the field, but I don't know. When you got a bigger mech with bigger guns staring at you, you want to kind of get rid of that guy. All right, so we got to do a couple things here before we finish up. We need to get the hatchetman ready to go. We'll have everybody back. All these guys will be back when the hatchetman's up. So we've got six days for the hatchetman to be back. Financial report in 14. So we will be able to pull off that assassinate mission, which will be great. That should happen no problem. So let's do that then. Let's go... Um, let's go... Um, hmm. Before we do that, I want to check see here the storage. We want we got that adder that we can bring forward. I'm thinking about um, which one do we want though? That's like 13. This is a diamond shark one, so it's 13 hard points. I think we put this one together because it just makes more sense to put the 13 hard points. But I'm thinking about what we can get off them, right? So the other one. Like, are we going to have 13 weapons on this thing? We might. Well, 14, I guess, because it's got one laser. But... This guy has got the LRMs, though. You know what? Let's go with this one, because I think what we're going to end up doing is replacing the Locust. So we, re we replace the Locust... with the adder and move the locust into the second line or the second lance got another locust C down here as well so let's bring this forward uh, we'll grab one part from there did cost a bit though it's interesting alright let's have a quick look here alright mech bay adder TC Yeah, we didn't get much. Small pulse in the AMS. Well, at least we have some ammo for it. Oh, man, really? Well, at least it's an Omni, too. So, I mean, everything's kind of here. Right? Let's just pull these off for now. We'll max out the armor. I mean, that's a great replacement for the Locust. It's got, like, what, 13 tons for weapons? How fast is it, though? 6-9. It's not too bad. Not as fast as the Locust is, but still probably going to be a good replacement. It might have been nice to, for if I had kept one of those masks, but I didn't. So, there you go. Um, yeah, well, sure. Wow, it's got five ballistic hard points on the arms. Or, like, one or two others. So technically, the machine gun version. I mean, we could just go, like, MG crazy on it if we want. We got eight Eight or is that six or eight? That looks like an eight, but I think it's a six. Find out here in a second. Yeah, it's a six. So we could put like three of these in each arm. Now I know I said we I was going to put these in the um, which I probably still should do. Put them in the hatchetman to get to gain the extra weight. It will gain a we'll gain a ton on the hatchetman. We can put something else in there, like another laser or something. But I mean. I mean, we could go the with the machine gun build on it. Just don't have enough weight for that. I think there is a... Is it the Adder or is it the... Um, the Cougar, I think, has got a version with the Gauss rifle in it, right? Because the, the Cougar's a lot slower. But, I mean, shit, we could use that. You know? It wouldn't take much to, to do that and then, like... Oh, does that go up here? Oh, requires electronic countermeasures, right? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, but we've got double heatsink kits we can drop in. 
Wow, it's still like... Oh yeah, because we have to add... How many? Two heat sinks? That's why. Which we just barely have. That's the problem too, is we barely have any heat sinks now. We're going to have to focus on getting heat sinks. Hmm. Well, I mean... This thing's made for having a lot of weapons on it though, so maybe we do go the smaller weapon build again. You know, kind of like we did with the mislinks. Just go plenty of lasers rather than kind of relying on one scatter shot for 7 tons and 50 heat. Because, I mean, think about it. If you put like 5 medium lasers in, it's 5 tons. You're doing 125 damage. Right? You don't have the bonus chance to hit, but you've got volume. You know? And the heat is about exactly it's about exactly the same. It's five actually 5 heat less. You know what I'm saying? And then we got two extra tons. So another medium laser and a uh, heat sink. So six medium lasers and a heat sink or this. That's the that's the benefit of having the Omnimax and all those hard points. Is rather than only having one laser point where this would probably come in really, really, really handy. You could put six lasers in. Six medium lasers and a heat sink. And then, you know, that's all you that's all you need. You know what I'm saying? That's a, six medium lasers, 150 damage if they all hit, right? And while you could argue that the PPC, you know, does their sensor jamming and has better chance to hit and stuff, okay, that's fine. But like, how are you going to top? Like, okay, we can we can only get five in because that's all we've got, five hard points. But now we can put in machine guns in the arms if we want. But you know what I mean? Like, there's five medium lasers and we're still like way under heat, 54 heat. I think that's because... Wait. Oh, because the flamer. Right. Flamer's 9 heat as well. So... I don't know. You tell me. For that matter, we could just do this. Right? Add a couple heat sinks. If we can find some. <laughs> we don't have any clan... Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have to use the clan heat sink kit. We can use the regular double heat sink kit. Where are you here? Because we got lots of regular double heat sinks. Now the question is, will they fit in here? I think they will. We got 18 of these. Right? Three, four, five. You know? There's our heat sinking problem gone. And we still have room. Like we could put a like we got a clan LRM5 that we could fit in. I oh, know we can't. We don't have room for it. Never mind. But we could put like Ah, man, I wish we had, like, those, those, um, what are they called? The AP, um, Goss Rifles? The one-ton AP Gosses? Those would be really nice. But, I mean, you can put some machine guns in and some ammo. We got, still have the clan, clan cased internal, right? So, pair of machine guns and, like, maybe some AP ammo or something. <laughs> and we still got we still got weight. So, you know, heat efficiency is pretty good. Do we have room for the AMS anywhere? No, because we don't have any extra slots left over for that, unfortunately. This is kind of shitty where it's an Omnipod and a CT, but I can't get rid of the Flamer. So why even have this as an Omni if you can't add anything to the CT? It's kind of weird. But anyway, that's... I'm not going to load this out now, but that's kind of, you know, a possibility with this guy. Definitely go full, like, full laser build. We can maybe go with a uh, OP accuracy if we can get some, uh, some more um, stuff for that. Oh, we're going to want to do lower arm and hand at least on this side. And we need a, we need a lower arm for here, so we can't do that. But at least this will add the plus one accuracy for this. The hand is just there to help us stand up if we fall down. But, I mean, that's kind of a build right there. I don't know what else we would do besides add another machine gun. If we strip a machine gun off of the, uh, or even two, we can, well, I don't want to lower the armor any. We could we could take a machine gun off the hunchback, or the hatchetman, sorry, and put a regular machine gun on this arm. 
or on this one just leave it on this arm and use this one as a shield 406,000 it's not much 20 days we're gonna leave it for now though um, just because I'm, wanna, I'm concerned about sea bills at the moment we'll put that down here for now but that's what we're planning on doing or what at least I think I'm planning on doing let me know what you guys think in the comment section if there's anything else we could probably do with this guy but I'm thinking that's what we should probably do something along that line um, and that's about it so the next one we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this advanced let's mismanage our tasks we're good here okay cool and let's let's get this put ahead so the next episode well Oh, right. This was from the uh, one before. We're not going to... Uh, actually, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, my God. We got another bondsman. Tyler is in the barracks. Well, that's interesting. We should see if we can get a whole lance of bondsmen. Led by Viraggio. Uh, <laughs> let's have a quick look here. Because I forgot that that was from the uh, one before. Um, so there's Chandal. So it's Derby. Receiving you. Oh shit! How can he be a bondsman if he's a fucking vehicle pilot? I guess. That it was no. I wasn't fighting a vehicle guy. I was fighting a fucking adder. So, I mean, I guess it's just random. Fine, fair enough. Disgraced. ECM shield and probe. All right. At least we've got a vehicle pilot now. I mean, maybe we... I don't know. The duelist, uh, we can't... I mean, I guess we could use them if we have a vehicle that we want to take along on a duel. Like duo duel. But I don't think that's really going to happen. So we can just save this guy. But having a whole lance of bondsmen would be kind of pretty cool. Uh, all right. Let's advance the timeline. And then... Um, You'll probably already see the assassinate mission. Finish this up. Job's done. Um, by the time you see this episode. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I did is everything has kind of been moved forward. We're all good to go here. And um, we'll take the assassinate mission. Um, let's have a look at that right now. Yeah, so this assassinate mission here will be done. Uh, by the time you see this episode. All those are... Oh... A duo duel. Can we get them both done? Or maybe we just do the duo. It's against Diamond Shark. Um, can we do them both? Maybe. Let's do the assassinate, because I said we were going to do the assassinate. We were planning on doing the assassinate for a while. So let's just do that one first. Uh, you'll have already seen my decision anyway by the time you see this episode. And we're liked by the uh, by Clan Wolf now, which is good. It'll help us salvage. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, and then you know we'll see what happens afterwards. That's what happens when you try and run two series side by side. You can get mixed up in time. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And maybe uh, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.